Hi everyone, welcome to this new video. My name is Aditya and on this channel I talk about Kubernetes, blockchain, software engineering in general. And in today's video we are going to take a look how we can deploy our notify controller to the Kubernetes cluster. So for that I have already cloned the Kubernetes development repository you can see on my screen. And here I have this notify controller which we are going to deploy. And by the way if you haven't paused how we create this notify controller I will add a link of this video onto the i button so you can check that out so basically this is a controller this is a custom kubernetes controller that detects if there is any uh, pod deletion happening and then it sends that message to uh, a rabbit mq and any consumer application can use that messages to uh, process it further or to send any notification so this is the code which was there in the repository and i have made a slight change here so i now i am trying to take this MQ host through the environment variable. So I'm just reading it from my environment uh, through my environment variable and then I'm passing it to this new active MQ client object. So let's do one thing. Uh, let's now try to create a Docker file for this and then we can create the Kubernetes manifest and then we should be able to deploy it as well. So let me quickly create a Docker file here. So let's use the base image as uh, Golang Alpine. Uh, I'm using image 1.18 and the Alpine version of the image. Now let's set the working directory. To slash app and now let's copy the go mod and then the go some file and then let's copy the go some as well and now we can just run the go mod download command so that all the dependencies get downloaded And after this, we can just run the copy command so that we have all the files that are here into the container as well or while building the image. So let me just run the copy. And I'm going to copy the entire thing. And now we can run the go build so that our binary gets built, the go binary, and, and then we can run that binary. So let me just run the command, which is go build and then I'm giving the output as notify controller and then what I can do I can simply run a command to start this controller and this is present at this location slash notify controller I think this should be O, this should be the output O. Yeah, this looks fine to me. Now let's build this image and then we can push this image as well. So let me run the Docker build command. So this should build this image and then we can push this image as well. Oh, I need to get into the current directory. So which is Kate client notify controller and I can run the docker build. So now the image is ready and now we can push it to the docker hub so that we can use this image into the deployments. 
So let me just push this image. So now our image is pushed and now we can create our deployment manifest and let's create it. So let me first create a folder here with name manifests and inside that let's create our deployment file. Let's create a deployment here. So I'm going to name the deployment as notify controller. And here in the image as well, we can give the image name that was this one. And the version was 0.0.1. .0 okay this looks good to me let's try to deploy this so i have already set up a kubernetes cluster using kind so let's see how many nodes we have so it's a one node kubernetes cluster and now let me just try to uh, deploy this And now uh, let's see if this got deployed or not. So we can just do get pods and it's creating. So let's give it some time to get this pod created. It's still creating. So let's give it a moment. Let's check again. Yeah, so it's running now. Let's try to see the logs of this pod. And the pod name is this. And let me do hyphen F for days. Oh. Let me give hyphen hyphen all containers oh it should be logs let me remove this yeah so we got some logs and okay we can see some issue and this control is not able to list the pods so we can see it is failing on list it is not able to watch the pods as well and this is because of the service account that we are using so we are using a default service account and that service account doesn't have the permission to access the cluster uh, basically the pod at the cluster level so we can see that it is also indicating that the that it cannot list at the cluster scope. So what we have to do, we have to create a cluster role and then we have to create a cluster role binding and we'll also create a service account so that a cluster role binding can bind those 
cluster role and the service account and then we can use that service account here and i forgot to add that environment variable here that was mq host so let me just add it and the name was mq underscore host and value right now i'm not giving I am right now I'm giving it blank and let's create the cluster role and cluster role binding. So first let's create a cluster role. Let me call it as cr.yaml. So this is the cluster role and I'm going to give it a name as notify controller hyphen cr. and so what all actions we want to uh, give the permission so we have to list it here in the verb section so we want to give the list access and the watch and maybe i can do get as well and then the resources on which we want to give the access pod so this looks good to me let's try to apply this manifest it got created now let's try to create the service account as well so i'm giving the name as sa.yaml to the file and let's create the service account so the name of the service account is uh, that we want to create is let's say notify controller dot hyphen sa and we want to create this in a default namespace this is good let's try to apply this as well yeah it also got created and now uh, let's try to create the role binding so basically role binding is going to bind the service account and the cluster role and then uh, we can use that service account in the deployment so let's create a file let's call it as crb cluster role binding and let's create the stroll binding. Let's give it a name as notify controller hyphen CRB. And then the service account name we have to specify. So the service account name was that just we created was notify controller hyphen SA. And here we have to give the cluster role. So the cluster role that we created was notify controller hyphen cr let's try to apply this yeah so this also got created this one role binding and now uh, we have to use that service account in the deployment so that our deployment has access to that service account so let me give the service account name here and the service account name was notify controller hyphen sa let's try to apply this as well so it got changed it got updated let's see if got that got applied or not yeah, so the pod is getting recreated and uh, let's see the logs this time Okay, we still see the same issue. Let's try to delete the pod. This looks good to me. Notify controller hyphen essay. This is the correct name and in the role binding as well we are binding the correct service account with the correct cluster role and the cluster role name was this is correct let's see the pod pod is up let's see the logs okay, we still see that issue try to identify this 
oh we made a uh, mistake here so it should be pods here because the resources is pods and now let's try to apply everything yeah it got configured and now let's try to see the logs okay yeah here you can see so now we are not getting the error and we are getting the add event because uh, this this controller is able to listen uh, it is able to get all those pods that are there in the cluster and now let's try to create a nginx deployment but before that let me just do one more thing let me just put the mq host here so that uh, we can actually see that those messages are getting populated on the queue as well, work message queue. So this is my uh, cloud AMQ dashboard and let me just copy this and let's put it here. And we have to do one more thing. Uh, okay, so let's first deploy this and then we should create a deployment and then we will try to de delete the deployment and see if we are getting any message or not. So here in the rabbit MQ section, just go to this rabbit MQ manager and here we should see those messages coming up. So let's, so this is done. Now let's try to create a deployment uh, I'm going to create a deployment Nginx. Uh, Nginx deployment. Let's wait for it to get created. And then we will try to delete this uh, deployment and we'll see if we are getting those messages here or not. So right now we can see we don't have any message here, but let's see. Uh, once we delete that. So let's see if the pod is, Nginx pod is up or not. Yeah, so it is getting created. Uh, let's now try to delete it or let's, let's wait for a couple of minutes so that this pod is up and running and then we should be able to delete this. Let's see. Yeah, so the pod is up and running. Now let's try to delete this pod. Okay, delete pod and then the pod name. So the pod is getting deleted. Let's see if in the queue if we are getting any message or not. So let's wait for some time. So here you can see we have some activity here and uh, we should see one message as well. So we got a message as well. So which means our controller is working fine in the Kubernetes as well. So yeah, this is what I wanted to discuss in this video. Like we, let me summarize like what we covered in this video. So we created this Docker file for our uh, controller and then we tried to create the deployment. And when we created the deployment, when we started this deployment, we were facing some issues related to the permissioning. So we, so we created the cluster role, we created the role bindings, and then we created the service account. And after that, we started using the service account into the deployment, like here. And once this service account was available to the deployment, we were not facing any issue. And we tried to delete the pod as well, and we were receiving those messages onto our queue as well. So this was it for this video. Hope you like this video and if you did like this video then please give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one.